How to perform a Corvette C6 differential fluid service. Here's everything you're going to need. A large pan or oil catch, a half inch ratchet, a fluid cork pump, half inch to 3 8 socket reducer, 10 millimeter drive bit, 3 8 socket, and 3 quarts of differential fluid. While the ratchet attachments are a bit unorthodox, this will work out to be the perfect length to give you plenty of work room for the fill plug. Corvettes specifically use Dextron LS Gear Oil 75W-90. The part number is in the description below. This is the latest stiff oil for these and no slip friction additives are required. First start by raising the rear of the car in whichever way you feel comfortable with. If you have a slant in your driveway like I do, try backing onto some ramps. If not, use jacks. Just try to keep the car as level as you can. The differential is located just behind your mufflers and in line with the rear axle. The drain plug should be almost immediately visible as soon as you're underneath it. There are two plugs for your differential that you need to focus on, the lower one being the drain plug and the higher one being the fill plug. For the first step, you'll want to unscrew your fill plug. Once you break the tension, it will turn very easily and can be done by hand. It will drip, but only very lightly. You can access the fill plug with your ratchet by putting the ratchet between the muffler and the chassis like so. If you use the same attachments I did, it should work out to be an excellent length. If not, any other ratchet extension should be fine. The next step is to unscrew the drain plug. First, place your pan underneath the drain plug and push towards the driver's side of the car with your ratchet to unscrew it. Once you break the tension, it'll turn very easily and can be done by hand. Now, the oil will come out very suddenly and very fast, so move quick and make sure your pan is lined up with it. Once the fluid is draining out, take a break and let the oil keep dripping out for a while. Personally, I waited for about a half an hour. Once you're tired of waiting for the oil to drip out, Attach a fluid pump to one of your cords of oil. Run the clear hose up into the fill plug. Leave the drain plug out and your oil pan in place. Begin to pump some of the oil into the diff until it flows out the other side. Do this in order to flush out any buildup or excess that might still be stuck inside the diff. Continue to flush it until the fluid comes out as a clearer yellowish color, or until you're satisfied with it. As you can see, a few flushes can really pull out a lot of stuff still stuck inside your differential. The bowl on the right is about 5-6 to six flushes worth. I highly recommend only using differential fluid to clean the system out, as cleaners could leave behind residue which would be unfriendly for your diff, and it's just not worth the risk. Once you're satisfied with the flushing results, reattach the drain plug to the diff and firmly tighten it down. The torque spec for the plugs are 26 foot-pounds. With the drain plug in place, simply insert the hose into the fill plug and let the pumping begin. According to the last GM service bulletin, you'll need 2.28 quarts of fluid for a base C6. Now this part is tedious and you're probably going to die a little bit inside while you're doing it, but keep going until there's a consistent drip coming from the fill plug. Once you've completed your year and a half of pumping, simply reinsert the fill plug and tighten it down. The torque spec for this plug is also 26 foot-pounds, same as the drain plug. After this, simply wipe off any excess differential fluid off of the diff case and on the chassis, and after this you're done with the fluid swap. The last step is very easy and actually kind of fun. Carefully drive to a large open area like a parking lot and do 8 to 10 figure eights. This is to work the fluid into the diff gear since the splash base system. You don't need to be power sliding, just be a little vigorous. After this, your diff service is complete. Hopefully this video helped a few of you out. If it did, be sure to leave a like, that does help me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.